Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Art and today I will show you two lens simulation websites. If you are a beginner photographer who wants to learn how a lens works and how your photo will probably look like, these websites will be very helpful. Or if you are confused on what lens to buy, this may give you an idea on what lens you need to purchase. So now let's proceed to the first website. The first website is the dofsimulator.net. And on this page, you can immediately see the configuration menu on the left side and the simulated image on the right side. So now let's uh, explore the controls. So for the configuration, you can choose between basic and advanced. So for now, we'll choose the basic. If you choose the advanced, it will, it will just add some, uh, some uh, image ratio, converter, and background scaling. So for now, let's choose the basic. And for the distance unit, you can choose the metric and imperial. So for the metric, it will be dealing with the meters. And for the imperial, it will be dealing with the yard. So for now, let's choose metric. And for the appearance, you can choose the model you want. So there is a man. And you can choose a woman. Then you can choose a background. So let's choose a park. So wait for it to load. So that's it. After loading, you can see the subject or your model is a woman and your background is a park. And you can now choose the orientation of your picture. You can choose portrait or landscape. So now let's choose portrait. And on the sensor size, you can choose any format. So now you can choose the full frame. You can choose a large format or a medium format. So for now, let's choose the full frame. And for the camera model, you can choose the brand. And you can choose the model. So they have a wide uh, variety of choices to choose from. So let's choose the Nikon D7000. And for the lens, you can also choose the brand and the model. So for now, let's choose this uh, fixed 50mm uh, 1.8D lens. So after choosing the lens, you can actually uh, set the focal length and the aperture. As you can see, as I move the aperture, the background changes. So as you know, the larger the aperture or the larger the opening of the aperture, the background will be out of focus. So as I adjust the aperture, as you can see, the background becomes more focused. So I'll make it wide again. And the distance is your focus distance between the subject and your lens. So now, as I increase the distance, the subject becomes more far. And as I slide it to the left, the subject becomes closer. So let's set this for 260 centimeter. Or equals to 2.5 meter and you can actually set this in the framing so they already have a set framing for the face for portrait for medium shot American shot and full shot actually I don't know this American shot 
Then actually you can see the depth of field uh, representation on this uh, part of the screen. This, uh, this representation also changes. This is the depth of field and these are the distances involved. The hyperfocal distance, the be behind the subject distance, in front of the subject distance. And that's it. You can uh, you can check any lens you want, and you can check how the focal length and how the aperture affects your picture. So let's test another one. So let's test a 55 to 200 millimeter lens. So on this case, you can change the focal length from 55 to 200 millimeter so as you can see as i slide into a bigger focal length the reach will also be greater so the distance between the subject and the lens will become closer so if i change the aperture the subject becomes more in focus so this is very good guys if you are a beginner photographer because you can learn from this not only that you are advised on how the lens works but it also teaches the effect of focal length and the aperture you also have uh, the advantage of DOF simulator is you can use this offline and you can do this by clicking this offline version and you can download a portable version on Windows Android or or even in linux that's it guys i think this is the best lens simulator website there is today and i'll be showing another website wow. and now guys let's proceed to the second lens simulator the second lens simulator is samyanglens.com actually guys this uh this website is dedicated for the samyang brand but they have a lens simulator similar to the DF, DOF simulator.net. And this is a very good simulator. And I think this is very simple but very effective. As you can see on the left side, there is another simulation which has the background and the subject. You can actually choose the background you want. They have three choices. and they have three choices for the format and for the focal length you can choose between 10 to 300 millimeter so this is a little bit weird this is just uh, a representation of the ratio between the subject and your background and now you can choose the aperture from 1.2 to 36 so now let's choose a 50 millimeter focal length as you can see if I choose a wide aperture the background becomes blurry or out of focus and as I increase the aperture let's say we put it to f22 the background is now in focus and on the distance control, you can drag the model to see the uh, to set the distance between the model and the photographer. So this uh, this representation is a little bit funny, but the purpose of this is to let you see what is the effect of the distance to your subject and to your background. And on the lens type, you can choose the models of the Samyang. Now let's choose the 35 millimeter 1.4. So it automatically adjusts the focal length and the aperture to give you a simulated image. So that's it, guys. This uh, this website is very simple compared to DOFSimulator.net, but it is really helpful especially if you are 
thinking of what lens to buy next. And that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like our short video. I hope this becomes helpful in uh, making you choose the right lens for you. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. Please support us by subscribing to our channel. And click the notification bell if you want to be notified on future episodes like this. Thank you guys again. Keep creating memories and God bless.